Hey guys, it's the HowToGuy123 here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make Windows 10 look like Windows XP. As you can see here, we pretty much have the end result, what we're going to get when we are done this tutorial. As you can see here, I am on Windows 10. Um, this also works for Windows 8.1, Windows 8, and Windows 7. Um, I'm also on the latest version of Windows 10, uh, known as the Anniversary version, or version 1607. Um, as you can see here, we have the nice blue Windows XP uh, taskbar, known as the Luna taskbar. Uh, we also have the um, the Windows XP start button, along with the uh, start menu, just like in Windows XP. We also have the, um, the nice field background that was default in Windows XP. Unfortunately, um, we don't have the application borders. Uh, it just looks like the Windows 10 ones. And uh, I also did a pre previous video where um, I did this for Windows 8.1, and in that theme, it came with uh, different icons for different applications, just like they were in uh, Windows XP, but unfortunately, we don't actually have those. But I think overall, it, it, this seems still pretty good, and it looks just like it did in, in uh, Windows XP. So let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is uh, come down to the taskbar and right-click on it and then click on Settings. Um, make sure you are on the, uh, the taskbar tab, and uh, we're going to go ahead and turn on Use Small Taskbar Buttons. Uh, once uh, you turn that on, it's going to make your icons on the taskbar smaller. And uh, once you have done that, scroll down and then um, under Combine Taskbar Buttons, you're going to want to uh, set that to Never. Um, what this is going to do is, instead of when you have an application open um, on the taskbar, it's not going to say like, it's not, it's just not going to show the uh, icon. It's going to show like the full entire name of the uh, program. And you're going to also want to do this uh, if you have like two displays. Uh, under multiple displays, uh, you're going to want to set combined buttons on other taskbars to never as well. So you have the same result on uh, both monitors. And uh, once you've done that, you're going to want to uh, go up to colors. And uh, once this has loaded under accent color, you're going to want to choose this blue here. It's in the, uh, the first column. And uh, once you've done that, under show color on title bar, you're gonna, just going to want to uh, turn that on. And uh, once you've done that, we can go ahead and uh, exit out of the settings. So the next thing we're going to do is go into the description of this video and I've provided three links. The first one is a mega link. It's for pretty much all the theme files we're going to use to give Windows XP or Windows 10 that Windows XP look. Um, and uh, pretty much all you have to do is click it download through your browser and uh, it's a pretty small file so it shouldn't take long. Next, uh, go to the second link, it's for a program called Classic Shell, and what this is going to do is we're, it's going to change our taskbar to the uh, Windows XP blue taskbar. It's also going to change the uh, start button and uh, the uh, taskbar to what they looked like in uh, Windows XP. So just click uh, download now, and it should start to download. Once again, it's a pretty small file, so it shouldn't take uh, too long. So the next thing we're going to need to download is WinRAR. Um, to extract uh, all of our files. I'm pretty sure everybody has WinRAR, but uh, if you don't, uh, you're going to need it. So download the 64-bit version if you have a 64-bit computer, and 32 if you have a 32-bit computer, but I'm pretty sure that everybody nowadays has a 64-bit computer. It's pretty common. So once you have all the files downloaded, put them where you can uh, access them easily. So in my case, I just put them on uh, my desktop, and we're going to go ahead and uh, install Classic Shell. So um, double click on the uh, classic shell uh, installation file, click run, and then click next, I accept, next, next, and install. Uh, if you get this, uh, just click yes, and then uh, make sure you uncheck if you read me, because uh, when we uh, click finish it would just uh, pop up. And uh, once you have classic shell installed, uh, Click on the uh, the uh, Windows 10 XP theme or Windows XP theme for Windows 10. Right click and extract to Windows XP theme, uh, Windows 10 uh, backslash. And what this is going to do, it's going to put all of our uh, files we're going to need in a nice uh, folder where we can access them. So uh, once you have done that, you're going to want to go down to the Start button, right click on it, and then click on Settings. Uh, this is going to open the Classic Shell um, settings. Uh, once you have the classic shell settings open, it's going to uh, look like this and uh, you're going to want to check show all settings and that's going to give us a few more tabs uh, to mess with. So the first tab we're going to need to uh, go on is the start menu style. 
Now make sure classic with two columns is selected and under that it should say uh, select skin. So click on that and uh, under skin make sure Windows XP Luna is uh, selected and under that make sure show user picture and show username um, is uh, checked off. Next click on the uh, taskbar tab and um, make sure customize taskbar is uh, checked off and uh, make sure taskbar look or under taskbar look opaque is uh, selected. Now click on taskbar texture and then click on those uh, three dots and it should open a window and you're going to want to uh, choose the xp underscore bg um, file so double click on it and uh, now click on horizontal stretching and uh, make sure tile is selected. Now you should see that um, our Windows XP uh, taskbar, or our taskbar now looks like the uh, one in uh, Windows XP. So uh, next, click on the uh, Start button tab, and uh, make sure Replace with uh, Replace Start button is uh, checked off, and uh, make sure Custom button uh, is selected. Now click on Button Image, and um, click on those three dots once again, and uh, make sure the uh, Windows XP uh, button uh, file is uh, selected and uh, once you've done that just go ahead and uh, click on OK. Now you should see that we have the Windows XP uh, start button, the Windows XP uh, start menu, and finally the Windows XP uh, taskbar. So one last thing we can do is we can actually change the wallpaper to the nice default uh, Windows XP background. This is completely optional, but I think it gives it the uh, Windows XP look the best. So there's two uh, backgrounds in the folder I provided. One of them is uh, 624 by 501 pixels, and once you use it, it's going to be er, blurry and uh, won't look very nice. So you're going to want to use the one that's 1920 by 1080 because it's going to be nice and uh, high definition. and. Uh, yeah, so now you can see we have the complete Windows XP uh, look for Windows 10. Now, one thing you can do if you uh, you can go ahead and delete these files if you want. I'm just gonna leave them uh, just in case I need them later. But uh, you can delete them. You don't actually really need them anymore. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If this helped, please leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. Um, if you're having any problems, leave a comment, and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.